Calculus, sometimes called tartar, that is under the gums, may cause bone recession. The bone recedes and moves away from the calculus because of the associated inflammation. The calculus grows on this newly exposed area and the bone recedes further. This vicious cycle can continue to severe levels. If there is no associated recession, it is often unnoticed by the patient. Calculus or tartar can accumulate on the teeth. The tissue responds with inflammation, creating red, swollen and bleeding gums. If we could see through the gums, as in this animation, we could see the calculus underneath the gums as well. Brushing with a toothbrush will remove the plaque, but will not remove the calculus, as it is very hard. It is sometimes called dental stone. The dentist or hygienist can use ultrasonic instruments that vibrate, together with a jet of water, to dislodge the calculus from the teeth. The fine amounts remaining, especially under the gums, may require hand scaling instruments to remove them. There are many specialized scaling instruments that can be used to remove the calculus from all areas. Finally, the teeth can be polished with a rubber cup and an abrasive paste to remove debris and stains from above and below the gums. With the calculus gone, the irritating factors will have been removed and the tissue will get back to health. This movie shows how the gingiva, or gums, respond to the accumulation of tartar and plaque. As a response to the tartar buildup on the teeth, the gums become red and swollen. The hygienist, or dentist, will remove the tartar with various scaling instruments. and then polish the area with a polishing cup and polishing paste. Without the tartar there acting as an irritant to the tissues, the gums will revert back to their healthy state. Calculus, or tartar, can accumulate on teeth. The tissue responds with inflammation, creating red, swollen and bleeding gums, as well as bone loss. Since the tissues are swollen, the bone loss will not be reflected by the gum level. Brushing with a toothbrush will remove the plaque, but will not remove the calculus, which is very hard. Calculus is sometimes called dental stone. The dentist or hygienist can use ultrasonic instruments that vibrate, together with a jet of water, to dislodge the calculus from the teeth. The fine amounts of calculus left behind, especially under the gums, may require hand scaling instruments to be removed. There are many specialized scaling instruments that are able to remove the calculus from all tooth areas. Finally, the teeth can be polished with a rubber cup and an abrasive paste. It will be used to remove debris and stains from above and below the gums. With the calculus gone, the irritating factors will have been removed and the tissue will get back to health. With bone loss, however, the healthy gums will follow the new receded bone levels and may create recession around the teeth.